I'm so excited to check off another country on the map. I've never been to Scotland, so I'm really looking forward to this trip, and I've heard amazing things about Edinburgh. So, really excited to go there. We booked our train tickets and Airbnbs like four days ago, so kind of a last minute trip, but really looking forward to it. We've got three full days there, and we're gonna make the most of it. this place this is the bathroom i presume oh the bathroom is nice nice perfect they left us some tea and little shortbreads how cute is that our airbnb is surprisingly so nice like much better than what i expected i wasn't expecting anything to create oh it's raining now <laughs> send the camera around you just think what in the air. It's been sunny since the second we got here. Now we're about to leave and it's pouring. Are you kidding? That's a good time. The rain cloud is already passing, so I don't think it's gonna last too long. But we've settled in, we've unpacked our stuff, and now we're gonna go explore the town. Hopefully the rain will stop. Oh my God, look at this view. Oh, just stumbled upon this perfect view. Oh. I know I'm easily impressed, but this is unreal. Look at that. What the heck? This looks like a screensaver. We're just walking through and we've come across the Scott Memorial. It's like pitch black right now because it's backlit. But it's beautiful. are about three hours into our trip and I already love this city. I'm in love. Everywhere we look is just gorgeous. It's picturesque. It's just so vibrant. 
it's just crazy to finally visit a place that you've been wanting to see for so long and have only seen in videos and pictures online and now we're actually here. I'm a bit speechless and it's even better than I expected. Like I had really high hopes, but I'm loving it. Are you loving it? I am. Just made it to Victoria Street, the famous Victoria Street. I want to say this is like one of the most picturesque parts of Edinburgh and the sun is shining again so I am pleased. Wow. It is adorable. We're currently waiting in a queue, a very long queue to go into museum context. They have Harry Potter merchandise in here. It looks like a really cool store and there's a lot of recommendations for this place so we're gonna check it out because we don't have to rush anywhere. It's Voldemort's wand. Sirius Black. Snape. Where's Harry's? There's Harry's wand. 200 pounds for all of them. Which one do you think you would most likely be? I feel like you're a Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff. We're walking through Greyfriars Kirkyard. I don't know why I'm having such a tough time saying that, but we're gonna look for Tom Riddle's grave. I find it so cool that so much of Edinburgh, or Harry Potter, is inspired by Edinburgh. Okay, we gotta keep our eyes open for this. Where is he? Oh, Voldemort! Where are you? We're gonna try and find it without the maps, but we know it's in here somewhere. We found it. It's also my... It's time for some dinner. This place looks really cute. You want to sit inside or outside? We have been walking for a couple hours now and it's 7 o'clock so we decided to stop for a little bit to eat. I've been finding so many recommendations on TikTok so we're at this pizza place right now. The slices are huge here. So I'm really excited. I ordered a margarita pizza and we're just waiting for it now. It's super cute in here. It's quite cozy and small. So we paid in the front and then we just got a table here. But I love the vibe. Pizza just arrived. It's absolutely massive. Look at the size of it! That pizza was so delicious. Ate the entire thing. We did bring home some fries. Now we're gonna chill out, refresh, and then go back out for a couple drinks.
made it out of the bar and we're slightly losing deaf. yeah slightly deaf losing our hearing but that was so much fun so we literally walked past it earlier today and we thought hmm this might be fun so it was literally an arcade bar so the entire thing was full of arcade games there was pac-man there was tetris we played guitar hero like five, four times, five times, and a bunch of other games. And some other people gave us their old tokens. So we got a couple extra games in as well. We got a cocktail while we played, but it was really cool because the menu was all like game themed cocktails. So it was really fun. I had a good time. And now we're just walking and we're gonna find a pub. I wanna go to a pub, so we're on the hunt for a pub. It's like 11 o'clock and it's a Saturday night, so we should probably find some luck soon. They actually had a free breakfast Airbnb we're staying at. Now we're gonna go explore some more today. I think the focus for today is gonna be a little bit of thrift shopping, a little bit of shopping in some other stores, and then of course more sightseeing. First stop of the day, or not. We're not starting the day off too strong with the first charity shop being closed on a Sunday but we found another one just around the corner that I already had pinned and it opens in like 10 minutes. So hopefully we have some luck there. Okay, here we go. I found this dress, which is cute, but the fabric is just a little bit too thin for my liking. So I think I'm gonna pass, but I love the style and the color. They have some good movies here. Classic. Devil Wears Prada. Show me your stack. Nice. Callum balled <laughs> out. He got six books. Nice. nice. Here's the second stop. This is cool that they have them on a card. Cute. Okay, I'm kind of digging this vibe, but I don't know how it would look on me. What kind of houses are these? Cottages? They're so cute! Rose baked cottages. These are adorable. It's giving Hogwarts vibes. I'm here for it. I can't believe it took me until I was 25 to watch Harry Potter. And now I love it. I don't know why it took me so long and I never read the books. So maybe if I ever have enough free time to do that, I'll uh, get around to it. We're almost to Dean Village and already the views are gorgeous. We've made it and it is absolutely breathtaking. We've come at the perfect time as well because it's sunny. Yeah. Another picture perfect place. I am a little disappointed with how the ramen was. Honestly, in my opinion, it was overpriced and didn't really have that much flavor. And also the service was really slow. So, not the best lunch experience, but we still got some food in our system. And now we're gonna walk around 
Newtown and do a little bit of shopping. I feel like Why I not, shop right? in every <laughs> every Why single not? video, but I don't end up buying stuff. I just like to look around. That's such a weird name for a store. Why would you call your place Fat Face? We're gonna give Abercrombie a go. I haven't shopped in here in so long. Maybe they have some, some sales. This is completely unrecognizable compared to the old Abercrombie. Like everything is so nice and... Look at all the colors of leggings. <gasps> this is my heaven. been walking around for a while kind of shopping I did get a few things at Pull and Bear there was a huge sale going on so I got lucky with a few items we've been on the hunt for a crew neck or a tote bag and I finally found the crew necks but they're like 60 pounds which is insane so not gonna get one of those but I really want a tote bag and not one of the gift shops sell tote bags this is 2023 we went in all these stores, and not one has a tote bag. We have made it back to our Airbnb and just took a few minutes to just relax, lay in bed, and chill because we've been out all day. And I've quickly freshened up because we are gonna go mini golf. We love an activity and there's a mini golf bar not too far from our place. So we're gonna head there and play, I think 18 holes, but maybe 36 holes. Haven't decided yet. So we're gonna go play some mini golf and then we'll have a nice dinner at a pub nearby. And then we're gonna call it an earlier night than last night because last night we didn't get back till around 1 a.m. So it was a longer evening and we are definitely tired out today. So we wanna rest up for another day tomorrow, but this is my outfit for the evening. I've just changed my pants into the trousers I wore last night from Princess Polly. These are the Archer pants. They're incredible. Definitely recommend getting them. I just had to hem them a little bit. I have the same long sleeve top on that I've had on all day. And then I threw a headband on that's also from Princess Polly. So let's head out and let's go play some mini golf. Time for dinner. Mini golf was super fun. We played two games, so we did 36 holes. Unfortunately, I did not win today, so I'll have to do a rematch when we get on the ship. But we've made it to a restaurant, and we've just sat down and ordered dinner. Got Coke Zero, and I ordered a Beyond Burger. So I'm excited because it's beyond excited. <laughs> that was a good one. It's nine o'clock, and we haven't had dinner yet, so. Monday. Today is our final day in Edinburgh. We're just about to check out of our Airbnb and then our train tonight is at around six o'clock. So we have to find somewhere to drop our bags so that we can explore the city without looking like a pack mule. I had a really yummy breakfast this morning. I had a Biscoff iced coffee. It was insane. So let's check out of the Airbnb and be on our way. Dropped her bags, now I'm on the hunt for a tote bag, and I saw one in the window yesterday. Let's see. Okay, this one's cute. But I like more of a tote. Okay. Posh and fay. What does that mean? 
We haven't been in any bookstores yet since we've been here, so we're gonna go in a few and take a look. It looks like it might start raining and the umbrella is with all of our bags, which I didn't even mention. We were able to leave our bags at the Airbnb. So it's a big building obviously, so they've locked them up and stored them there for free, which was a score. Time for some coffee. This has been super recommended, so we're, we're giving the milkman a go. We've already been into it, but we got a hazelnut brownie, which is gluten free. This is one of the moist, mo moistest, most moist. Oh no, it's breaking. <laughs> it's such a soft brownie and so yummy. <laughs> Callum's just bought a guitar. <laughs> so Callum bought a Fender Strata acoustic guitar. So it's like half acoustic, half electric guitar. Pretty cool. He's very happy with his purchase. That was a good deal. Did he get a receipt? Anyways, we literally just like stumbled upon a little pawn shop that had some jewelry, some antique -y things, and then guitars. There is a bee circling me. Ah!